cannot continue on this path. The need to drastically change our energy policy is no longer a debatable proposition. It's not a question of whether, but how. It's not a question of if, but when. For the sake of our security, our economy, our jobs, and our planet, the age of oil must end in our time. I first met uh, Barack when he ran for the state senate and came to Springfield in 1996. And at that time, Springfield was not an easy place for a progressive to be. And uh, the state senate that he came into was not very open to protecting the environment and doing the right thing for the future. So we quickly uh, met each other, and, and he became clearly a guy that we could go to uh, on tough votes when the special interests were trying to protect their profits over our health. And we really had an open door uh, with Barack, uh, environmental leaders, his constituents who were trying to do the right thing for the future, even when he was in the minority uh, with those views in Springfield. We worked um, together to protect wetlands uh, from destruction, to clean up air pollution, uh, promote clean energy solutions like wind power, uh, protect communities that suffer from pollution, particularly minority and poor communities that bear the brunt of, of pollution in our society. On a wide range of issues, he really proved himself to be a very solid, reliable advocate for the kind of right policy choices for, uh, for Illinois. I was in Springfield, our state capital, in May of 2003 advocating on behalf of parks and open space. We had an issue that the governor wanted to raid dedicated funds that were to be devoted to acquisition of natural areas. And at the end of the day, I was outside the Capitol waiting for a ride, and Senator Obama came out and sat down on the steps. And I went over and started talking and told him about this issue and that we needed help. And he was instantly understanding and supportive. And I've been so impressed with his ability to understand complex issues right away and to understand nuance and to be able to work with his colleagues as he did then to protect this dedicated fund in the state that has benefited people all over our state through supporting park districts and forest preserve districts that provide recreational opportunities for families, for kids. We've had the pleasure of working with him in Illinois on efforts to reduce mercury pollution and to support clean renewable energy that can help be part of the solution to our global warming problems. When Barack was a state senator, he was a lead sponsor for us on renewable energy legislation. That legislation requires the utilities to buy a much greater percentage of their power from wind power and other clean renewable energy sources. That along with energy efficiency is a key part of the solution to our global warming problems. It's a win-win-win. It's good for the environment, it's good for jobs, and it's good for our economy. Senator Obama cares about that. He's a leader on clean energy development. I'm very proud to support Senator Obama to be our next president. We did a lot of work together on water quality, uh, did press conferences together on water quality. He, as a state senator, had beaches along the southern coast of Lake Michigan in Chicago and was very concerned, as we were, about the rising number of beach closings and swimming bans from bacterial pollution. And he cared a lot about the issue and worked with us to help deal with the issue and educate people about what they can do. An environmental strategy has to be one that makes cities work for people and, and they have to, has to work in, uh, in terms of air quality uh, and, uh, but it also has to work in terms of the economics. I mean, the, you can't have an environmental program that ends up um, hurting uh, low and moderate income families. Um, and I think Barack, given his background, has the unique capacity to craft an, an environmental strategy that strengthens cities, that strengthens the, the economics of families, and improves uh, the, the, uh, uh, the quality of our air and, and water, uh, and, and most importantly of all, decreases uh, our contribution to, to global warming. He has real roots in a broad progressive movement. It's a civil rights movement, it's an environmental movement, um, it, and uh, it's a community organizing movement. It's a long tradition of citizens taking responsibility for the quality of their life and the quality of the planet, and Barack will be a president who honors that and builds on it and gives
gives us and our kids a good.